1987. How many do we have left in the edition? That's what I want to know. Uh, only 2,300 left in the edition. So we already sold 8,000 of these coins. We already sold 8,000 of these. And out of that box of that pallet of 25,000, only 10,987, only 10,987 of those coins were uh, mid state 70 out of that and understand there are no additional coins to ever get so it's not just you know okay this particular tranche this particular batch there's 10,987 that's all that are ever going to exist there's only one of these pallets if 2021 struck in 2020. Well, Mike, they are telling me we are going to have to scoot along. I, I just, I, I know there's a lot of information to digest, but I certainly, I have to recommend you do it now. Okay, Mike, now this is what they call one of these contingencies, something that we weren't necessarily supposed to show. You know how naughty I am. I'm a rule breaker. What's going on here? <laughs> Look at this. This is our special emergency, and I'm going to talk about this here in a minute, okay? This is the Philadelphia emergency issue. So we've talked about the regular coin. We've talked about the San Francisco emergency issue. Well, what? guess what just came out? The man is so far behind, they said, okay, Philadelphia, uh, you're up next. And they're going, well, we don't really have a lot of capacity. So they made, even, they made half the amount San Francisco did, and this is one of those coins in an exclusive, an exclusive, the Empire Core that we've got right there, the Philadelphia, uh, the Philadelphia Mint, as you can see right there at PCGS, uh, Mint State 70, Philadelphia Emergency Mint, $409.95 in the Red Oak presentation box. Okay, but just a handful of those to go around. All right, well, it's a brand new hour here at HSN. I'm Shannon, and this is, of course, part of our Discovery Days here at HSN. We, we couldn't do Discovery Days without what we've been highlighting some of our exclusive lines, some of our top lines, and certainly Mike Mizak falls under all those categories. He is easily the king of coins. He's partnered with HSN for well over two decades. I've known him for well over two decades, and he does things in the world of coin collecting that no one else does. So we're going to kick off really this next hour of time together really and truly with a bang. And here's another one where, listen, I know there's a lot going on in life and otherwise, take a moment, just hit that, you know, grab a cup of something, something, and just listen to some of the information that Mike is going to share with you. Because even if you're not a regular coin collector yet, I, I promise you, whether it's this one or some of the other special opportunities he's saved for us, you will become a coin collector after you listen to Mike. So Mike, on that note, I am going to toss the baton to you so that you can really kind of... Uh, create the story of what we're doing for everybody right now. And I say story because that truly is what the coins are. There's stories, there are moments in time, and boy, oh boy, if there's ever been a wild and tangled story to tell, it's the last couple, well, last 14, 15, 16 months, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and particularly this 2021 coin thing, from a numismatic standpoint, I saw something the other day, someone said, you know, you know, you thought 2020 was something well for coins. How about 2021? I mean, that's like, you know, 2020's drunk cousin or something, you know, when it comes to coins. It's just amazing what is going on in 2021. This is no exception. The United States government, like I said, they can't keep up with the demand. They're going to be they're going to be short on the mint state coins. They're going to be short on the mint state coins by 20 million is my guess. It's going to be 20 million. So they came out with the West Point mint. They're 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 behind somewhere. They'll never catch up. There's going to be a shortage, and you think it's bad now? You wait till two months from now, and you start seeing two months from now what's going to happen with premiums with availability of regular mint state american silver eagles it's going to be insane and like i said when i started the show i said i was a little bit at a loss for words here i, I know you find that hard to believe but just to try to convey how hard these coins are to get so they did the went to the san francisco mint can you help out they did one tranche they did one run they put those coins out there it was about five percent or so of the mintage well that went in like 10 minutes so they go to the Philadelphia Mint. Can you help out? And they go, well, we're really busy. We can do one tiny little tranche. We can do one tiny little allocation, which they did, and it sold out in six minutes, you know, uh, whatever it was. These are the Philadelphia emergency issues struck at the Philadelphia Mint. This will be, this will be the rarest 
2021 Type 1 American Silver Eagle Mint State. That's that's period, okay? Well, the Mint State Silver Eagle, the Philadelphia Mint, is by far and away the rarest. We have got these in 3,600 is all that there is in our exclusive first day of issue. There are several problems with this coin. Most importantly is the fact that they didn't make very many. It's only going to represent, I don't know, 2 or 3%, I'm guessing, 2 or 3% of the entire mintage. So they're, you know, they're, they're, you know, the other, the W's are 50 to 1 compared to this, but they're only like basically double the price. The premiums on these are the all time highest premiums I've ever paid for a Silver Eagle in the 35 years I've been buying American Silver Eagles. That's, that's how rare and how difficult this coin is to get. They sold so quickly. The other thing is, is since Philadelphia is not very good at Silver Eagles, Mint State Silver Eagles, they do okay with proof Silver Eagles and everything else. They had to pack these just like San Francisco. They packed them by hand. But they weren't quite as good as San Francisco. I referenced the last time the government did this, they tried to help. The 2020P tried to help out. How about that coin? Remember, we were selling that coin for $5.99, $6.99, $7.99. I mean, crazy prices. This is my original issue price. The Philadelphia Mint coin, and they grade horrifically. They grade horrifically. I have 3,600 uh, 3, coins, and that was out of about 20,000 coins. That was out of about 20. Actually, that's not true. It's about, it about 16,000 coins, actually. It was about 16,000 actual coins. So they grade only at about 20% 70s, okay? And so to get the 70 is huge, but we also have 70 first day of issue, which is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. This, I am debuting this coin right here, right now. It's funny, I got a note just before we started this that we'd already sold like 15 or 20 of these coins before I even got to it. People saw it on the website, okay? Went to hsn.com, <clears throat> saw this, and we already had 15 or 20 people buy it before. Well, now this is it. This is the debut. This is a coin. Now, like I said, so they're going to make, in the Mint State coins this year, they're going to be short 20, 30, 40 million coins. The West Point Minted coin is going to be crazy to get. The San Francisco Minted coin is going to be crazier. Well, the Philadelphia Minted coin is going to be insane. And the reasoning behind that is very much that it is the rarest of all the Mint State coins that is going to be done in the classic design. And by classic design, so when, the, when Ronald Reagan signed the Liberty Coin Act into law in 1985, and they started making the American Silver Eagle in 1986. It looked just like this. It has continued unchanged and unabated, unchanged and unabated from 1986 until right now, until today, until this instant, until right now. That changes in three months. This coin will only be made, and understand this coin, this last coin in the series, this last coin in the series, I mean, it would have been appropriate or apropos to make it for an entire year. That's what we thought 2020 was. But because of COVID, because of everything else, because of reduced production schedules, the Mint had to carry it over for six months and six months only. So they made a rare coin even rarer. They made a coin for six months when if they made it for 16 months, they couldn't make enough. They, the, the demand is double, triple, quadruple anything I've ever seen in the history of the American Silver Eagle, and that's for the regular coin. Then we have the San Francisco minted coin, which we have sold thousands and thousands. Every single solitary one I can get my hands on, we have sold. Well, now I'm debuting the Philadelphia minted coin. These are live. These are in-house. These are ready to go. There's 3,600 of them. I wish I had 36,000. I honestly do. I firmly believe. I firmly believe I could sell 36,000 of these coins if I had to. Remember, we come in a red oak presentation box. That's twenty four dollars ninety five cents. At the end of the day, we're two forty nine. In essence, basically, is what it's over two thirty or two fifty nine. Basically, is ultimately what we come down to is really what it is. I know we show about two minutes or so there on the clock. I mean, if I perhaps we can give an extra minute or two, uh, or perhaps we can give an extra minute or two because this is our first look at this coin. So I think people are really, really, really desirous of this particular coin. Uh, uh, I wished I had. 
significantly more. But for first day of issue, that's it. It's done. It's gone. It's over. That's all I have. That's all that's going to be. That's all that's going to be available. And that's just the way that it is. I wished it wasn't the case. I truly, truly, truly wish it wasn't the case. So in this set, okay, in this day, in this age, in this thing that we're going to do, okay, with 2021 Silver Eagles, there's going to be three. Philadelphia men, just one extra minute on this. Philadelphia men, West Point men, San Francisco men. The most common will be the West Point men, so they're only going to be 25 million coins short. Okay, so that's going to be the easy one to get because there's only a shortage of 25 million coins. Then after that, it's going to be the San Francisco Mint. They did one group of those. It's basically one out of every 15 coins is a San Francisco Mint. So how much short are they? Those are already gone, okay? And then you have the Philadelphia Mint, which is going to represent, I'm assuming, is going to represent somewhere in the neighborhood of one out of every 50 coins, roughly. Maybe one out of every 40 coins is going to be Philadelphia Mint. And out of those... Only 3,600, only 3,600 will be annexed first day of issue, and every single solitary one of them will be sold right here on HSN. Oh, absolutely. In fact, you know what, Mike, just a real quick question. When is your next primetime coin collector show? Just out of curiosity. I think it's, I don't know, it's March, sometime in March. Sometime I mean, in March? I, they're just piling on top of each other at this point. <laughs> right. I know, it's like, uh, it's know, Groundhog it, it Day it around here. And, and, and the thing is, is we're just selling out of coins and coins See? and coins. It's March 7th. And, and, uh, we're just selling out of everything that we have. And here's the problem. That's normally great, right? I can't replace it. It's true. I mean, what am I going to do? It's sold out. It's gone. I mean, once these, I get one shot at these. And once we sell out, then I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, the mint is, is going to stop making these in four weeks. Then what am I going to do? Am I going to pay 150 or 200 or 250 or 300 or $500 a coin? I guess I'm going to have to. The market's going to, the mark, and, and I've tried to explain this to people. I've never seen this in the 40 plus years I've been in the business. I have never seen this level of interest. I have never seen this shortage of coins in the marketplace. And this coin is the perfect example. It's the rarest of the rarest of the rare of the most popular coin ever made in the Silver Eagle series by the United States Mint. Absolutely. Well, in fact, the reason that I asked when your next primetime show is, I can, I can tell you, and, and this is just based on my opinion or my experience in working with Mike, this is probably my only shot at it with you. I got to be right. honest. I mean, it really is. So uh, it's, it's um, I do a lot of electronic shows here, and that's certainly not to be disrespectful. By the way, we've got that last airing of that Ring Today special coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. But, you know, we'll, we'll air their tablets. We'll air their computers. We'll air other security systems. When I, when, when I can say... You know, Mike's been doing this for over 40 years. I've, I've actually been in uh, television retailing for over 30. I've been here for 25 years. When I say this is my only shot at it, I can promise you that. If Mike's uh, next primetime show is not until probably either mid or the end of March, this will be my only opportunity with Mike to talk about this or share this with you. So use that information for what you will. And certainly we always want you to shop with confidence and assurance. And, you know, that's the other thing about shopping with Mike and HSN, especially during these discovery days. He does things in the world of coin collecting that no one else does. We are very, very strict about our legal standards. Everything that Mike says is vetted, meaning, um, you know, MS-70, that is not like a descriptor like, oh, she's pretty. Oh, she has brown hair. That is a very legally specific term. When we talk about the allocation or the limited run or the shortage that even the government has on this, just remember those are legally specific statements, not, you know, gosh, I thought it was cold today. It's so I, I, I mention all those things, Mike, because yes, you provide such a great education uh, for us. But when people do see something and see something like this in particular, which is historic, they do need to strike while the iron is hot, don't they? Yes, one absolutely positively 100, 100 percent. Uh, you need to because these coins are, are, are just going to be irreplaceable, particularly first day of issues. But the Philadelphias are gone. The San Francisco's are gone. The West Points, I mean, I have coins coming in. But like I said, you know, if I order coins today, and I will from the authorized purchasers, because the government doesn't sell these directly to the public. Even I have to go through an authorized purchaser to be able to do this. There's only 12 of them. 
right? So I'll order coins on Monday. I'll take delivery in two to three weeks. And we'll order coins going forward. We'll do our very best. But at some point, there will be zero. At some point, there will be zero left, okay? And that's, that's what you need to remember. And it's going to be months, I believe, before the new ones are released. So there is going to be a coin desert, okay, that's going to be May and June that you need to absolutely positively understand uh, that what you're buying now just simply, and it's not necessarily a price issue. I told this story earlier. Call a friend. Need a box of San Francisco mints. What's the price? It's back to me. He says, there is no price. I said, I've never heard of such a thing. What do you mean? Is that a joke? And he says, no, I can't find a single solitary person to sell me a single solitary box. He says, everybody's afraid to sell it because everybody's afraid of running out. So, I mean, you know, so I hope I have a show on March 7th. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope I have some coins. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and I know you're, you're some, I, I mean, I know you're saying that somewhat facetiously, but in, in no small measure, that's almost really not a joke in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got to be honest with you, Shannon. I don't find it funny. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you you would not. Exactly. For for, for very good reason. Um, I'm hey, a I'm, serious sort. So when it's not a product, I consider it to be a problem. <laughs> exactly. You have a coin show, you don't have the coins, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, I'm not very crafty. So yeah, I, mean, you know. I was going to say, it's not like when I have a, a kitchen show, you know, I'll, I'll find another air fryer. You know? Right. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, if, if you aren't a coin collector, if, if you aren't a coin collector yet, or if you aren't a card col uh, holder yet, you can apply and buy and get $40 off on your HSN card. So, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Look at. <laughs> Mike, I, I, I moved along to the next table. See? Okay. I'm like Cher. I'm, I'm turning back the hands of time, only different. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a couple of bars, Shannon. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I got you, babe. Uh, I, I, I know. Well, anyway, it is uh, the comedy's free, folks. But you still get the 30-day return policy. You get the education. That's also uh, free. And just so you realize, here's another one. Mike really does curate these shows, and I think that's important to mention because um, even our producers defer to Mike. We just because not only because he knows his stuff, but he really does curate these coins for you. And that's why it's always fun to see what Mike um, pulls up or adds to the show. Here's one. We've been talking about the emergency. We've been talking about the Silver Eagles. We all know whether we're coin collectors or not, what's been going on just in American and certainly global history. What is up with this emergency eagle, especially at this great price? Well, it's the same one as we sold the last coin. This is just in state 69. So remember how I always tell you grade's important. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. This is a perfect example. In 70, it's $289. In 69, it's $149. Same exact coin. Okay? So let's say you want to fill it out the a coin. You want to mark this coin. You want to mark this transition. You want to mark, you know, this legacy, this end of the line, this transition coin. But, you know, let's say you don't, for this particular coin, the Philadelphia unit, you don't want in state 70. You want first day of issue. And mid-state 69 is enough, well, $149.95. So that's what we have. So we have the ability here for you to own this coin. And this is the best possible price that I could do on a Philadelphia Minted coin. Now, here's the thing. When I say it's Philadelphia Minted, it doesn't have a Philadelphia Mint mark. Silver Eagles, mid-state Silver Eagles are homogeneous. So they have to be certified if you have to designate it to any mint other than West Point. So that's why this is important. You can't just get a coin that's not certified and say it's from the Philadelphia Mint or the San Francisco Mint. If it's not in a holder, it is de facto default. It is a West Point minted coin. Okay. I mean, all important um, monikers or, or things to be aware of. Remember, as always, we try, to, we try to get a lot into these shows just because a lot of people do tape them. A lot of them, people do record them or go back and watch them on hsn.com. So they are going to scoot me along because we're going to try to get to a lot. I don't think we can show it to you because it would sell out before we get there. We have a wall of coins. <laughs> Mike knows. We're, we're, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. He's like, don't, yeah. no, you don't, 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 don't tell him too much. 
Suzanne Runyon is coming up uh, after me, and uh, Suzanne is, Suzanne is um, she loves working with Mike too, we all do, but uh, we're all big fans of the wall of coins, and I'll leave it at that. All right, here's something to be a big fan of. All right, Mike, you gotta tell them the story. Well, this is really quick, because I have the Min State 70 set, and I know there was supposed to be a Min State 69 set out uh, after this. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for the Min State 69 set, so I wanna talk about this. So as I've been talking through all this stuff, right, I said, you know, you have, you know, the, the mint's going to be 20 million or 25 million or 30 million coin short, whatever it is. And they're going to make West Point Mint, quote unquote, the easiest to get there. I'm going to be short 20 million coins. Then the San Francisco Emergency Mint, then the Philadelphia Emergency Mint. This is all three. This is West Point, San Francisco, and Philadelphia in 70 in my exclusive in my exclusive liberty core all three coins 479.95 folks these are final quantities for the coins that i own at the old original price okay and, and, and i'm trying to explain what i mean by that at the old original price i bought these coins when they were released okay if I were to buy them in the marketplace today, the price I would pay would be significantly more than what I have paid. So based on that, if I were to just go get some of these boxes from somebody else that I didn't get originally in the marketplace, I would be five seventy nine. So it is only this remaining quantity, and there's 380 of these, I believe, 380 of the 70 sets that I have got that are going to be available. And once again, these are exclusive to me. Only my company can sell that Liberty Core, you know, the black core with the, with the Liberty in there. <clears throat> One of the questions I always get, and that's all three of them, so that's the Philadelphia. Remember, we just had the Philadelphia Minute Coin. I think we just sold two or three or 400 of them. This has the Philadelphia Minute Coin NGC. It has the San Francisco Minute Coin. I sold 700 San Francisco Minute Coins at $129, not, you know, 45 minutes ago. And then I have the regular West Point Minute Coin, which I think we sold at $109. And I add all that up. At $479, that's a pretty spiffy price. One of the questions I always get is, why is that big green plastic box there? Okay? Why is it always there when we're showing Silver Eagle? And I'll tell you why it's there. That's how they come. The United States government does not sell mint state eagles directly to the United States public. As a matter of fact, they don't even sell them directly to me. They sell them through a very special distribution network of 12 companies that are called APs, or authorized purchasers. Okay, and they're the only people that can buy these coins. And every single mint state coin that the government makes goes out to them through an allocation system. So everybody is allocated a certain number of coins based on their historical purchases from the United States Mint. So I have to buy those coins from those because that's where I get those pallets. So when I talk about buying those pallets of coins, but that's how they come. That's a box of 500. When that's full, that green box behind there has 25 tubes of 20 American Silver Eagles. Has 25 tubes of 20 American Silver Eagles in it. It has a band on it. It is sealed at the United States Mint. The picture I showed earlier was then they put all of those, 50 of those boxes onto a pallet and then seal the pallet and wrap the pallet. We tend to buy them by the pallet. Okay, instead of by the box. Many dealers buy by the box. We buy by the pallets. Okay, so we buy 50 box. We try to buy 50 boxes at a time. It's just easier to move them around. Uh, it's easier to get them in and out of the armored car. Okay, <laughs> basically when you have a pallet uh, uh, like that. Because, I mean, you know, a pallet is almost a million dollars worth of silver. So, I mean, you know, in a show like this, I mean, you know, we, we sell a significant, we sell thousands and thousands of ounces of American silver eagles. So <clears throat> that's what happens. And that's how I can tell you. So when I'm telling everybody, when I'm telling everybody just how phenomenally difficult it is to get American Silver Eagle, it's not just something that's just, you know, my thoughts. That is, uh, I've never seen it. I have conversations with other dealers all day long, and they're like, I've never seen it. 
the APs charge, the government charges them X amount of money. And then they charge something above the silver price, and that's called the premium. The current premium for American Silver Eagles is at an all-time high. It's about double what it traditionally has been. And I, it would not surprise me to see it double again and then double again and then double again in terms of the premium that we have to pay for these Type 1, these classic design American Silver Eagles. I've alluded to this for the entire show, and it's critically important for you to understand. The United States government, they are getting ready for the Type 2 coin. You think this is a big deal? The last year of issue, it's important. It's a bookend. But when you literally have a once-in-a-lifetime design change on the most popular silver coin in the world today, then you have something, and the Mint knows that. Like I said, they're not stupid. They know that the Type 2 is going to be phenomenal. We know that. Everybody knows that. And based on that, they are trying to get ready for that tsunami of demand that's going to hit when the Type 2s hit. Okay, that's what they're trying desperately or desperately to get in front of that. The fact of the matter is, is they have no prayer of getting in front of that. They're not going to be able to in any way, shape or form. And what that means is, is that these type ones, these classic designs, these last designs made only in the first six months of this year are going to be so hideously underproduced that this I think is going to end up being one of the modern American rarities, one of the most underproduced and uh, over-desired coins in the history of the United States Mint. Because they're so afraid of being short on the Type 2s that they're going to cut the production on these off early, early, early. I think, like I said, the, the Philadelphia Mints are already gone. They were gone in five minutes. The San Francisco Mint, already gone. They were gone in ten minutes. The West Point Mint, ostensibly, they're still making more and taking orders from them. I'm anticipating... <clears throat> that the United States government is only going to make the Type 1s for another four or five weeks at the most. And they have said once they go to Type 2 production, because they can't do them both at the same time, once they go to Type 2 production, I think they stay with Type 2. I don't think, regardless of shortage, regardless of premium, regardless of price, I don't think they can afford to go back and switch out and start making Type 1s uh, again. So that's why I'm saying right here, right now, I'm telling you right here, right now, buy these coins now, folks. Buy these coins now. Because if you don't, and I'm just telling you this, if you don't understand, it's all about supply and demand, right? Supply is finite and is going to be one of the rarest silver eagles the United States government has made in the last 15 years in mint state coins. Demand is double, triple, quadruple what any of those other Silver Eagles have been. So this is a coin that once production stops, and they're not releasing the new coin till July, there's going to be, like I said, that numismatic desert that's going to happen in, Feb or in, in May and June that the people with coins are going to be the lucky ones. Well, and I think that's key. And, and you know, I, I know I've made this observation throughout the show, but when you see the quantity left, remember that does not take the manner, the method, the mode in which people are shopping. We also do not limit quantities, which is also significant because we have, I would say, as many, maybe even more coin dealers who shop with Mike and in, in the coin collector here at HSN as we do just regular folk like you and me, whether we're learning for the first time or we consider ourselves uh, avid coin collectors, still get a 30-day return policy. And you do get a 12-month VIP financing if you have an HSN card. Rick, I am looking at the, the, the correct number, correct? Um, so if you do have an HSN card, that means basically you can create 12 interest-free payments of $39.99. Now, now that clock did expire, but based on how, how many people are joining us, and I, I know it takes a while to kind of digest the information sometimes, we give you just a few minutes beyond that with which to make your buying decision. But Mike, no question that this is another one that will completely sell out, right? 
I, I, oh, yes. And, and like I said, I mean, and it's a price issue as well. I just want to make one note as we go into our next item. I think we're supposed to do the wall of coins next. I'd really like to do the uh, proof coin next. I don't know if that's possible or not because it's the perfect companion piece to this. We might not be able to get a full presentation on those 50 years of proof sets. But on this particular set, I want to go back to this for just a second. I mean, I think I've really – I've done a little better job expressing the phenomenal rarity the incredible rarity of the uh, uh, of the American Silver Eagle for 2021. The fact that the United States government is changing the design. It's once in a lifetime. So they're changing it after 35 years. You know, by law, they can't do it again. They can't do it again, all right, for 25 years. So, like I said, and the one thing I can guarantee – 25 years from now, I will not be on HSN selling coins. Okay, that I promise you. <clears throat> okay. And so <clears throat> for me, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to sell this, this design, this transition change, this legacy coin, and then the brand new coin. And, and as the United States government gets ready, gets ready for the new design, like I said, there's going to be that period of time, and everybody's going to have to have this coin. You have to have both coins. They're both dated 2021. You get the transition in a single year. That's unique. That hasn't happened in years and years and years and years and years. So we've got the most popular coin in the world today, in my opinion, the American Silver Eagle. So we've got the most popular coin. We've got the change, both coins happening in a single year, and one of the coins is going to be rarer than the other coin, and I can tell you right now it's going to be this coin, okay? It's going to be this coin that's the rarer of the two coins. Now, the other one will be more popular, and that is important to collectability and desirability. There's no doubt about that. But keep in mind, okay, keep in mind that it matters. Mintages matter. And while the other coin is going to be more popular, this one absolutely must be in every single solitary collection as well. So great opportunity. And remember, this is all, all three. This is the complete set of Mint State coins of the, of the last year of the Type 1 of the classic design. Philadelphia Mint, emergency issue. San Francisco Mint, emergency issue. And the West Point Mint, those are the three Mint State coins, all certified perfect, all in my exclusive uh, Liberty Holder as well. Okay, um, so we just we wanted to expand that presentation just just for a few moments so that you could make that bind selection before they're completely gone. Uh, now, what is interesting, whenever me or Suzanne or Adam, anyone who works with Mike, when they say the wall of coins, people start calling early. <laughs> Mike, you know this is true. It's like they got the wall of coins. They got the wall of coins, and um, I man. Not only is it the wall of coins, Mike, that deep discount, did did you authorize that? <laughs> this I did. Okay. This one I did. This, I did authorize this one, okay? The wall of coins that we see right here. As you can see, this day only only $899.95. So we're going to go to this right now. Let's go ahead and do the 50 years of proof. This, I have to be honest. So I've been doing this for a long time, right? A long time. Yeah, well, I, there's... This might be my favorite set. Oh, is it all really? The that I sell. Yeah, I think it might be. Wow. Because there's, because it has a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay, it has a little bit of everything. It has all the pennies, it has all the nickel signs, quarters, half dollars, dollars, has the state quarters, has the presidential dollars, has the Sacagawea golden dollars. It's got Franklin half dollars because we've got silver coins in it, right? We've got uh, the last five silver coins ever made by the United States government. we got the, the special mint sets made by the United States government that are up there at the top. We've got value at an unprecedented level. And that's why I want to... Uh, uh, so, I'm going to kind of, let me explain what a proof set is. Let's just start at the very basic. Every year since, almost every year, since 1936, the United States government makes a set of presentation coins designed wholly and exclusively for collectors. And it's called the proof set. Remember, proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. Okay, they're made differently. Okay, they're struck multiple times at higher pressures to give them that, that mirror-like finish. <clears throat> and then they're put into a set. Well, what I have here is 50 years, from 1960 to 2009, 50 years of the United States government issue proof sets. Look at this. 
Unbelievable. Hey, Mike, I'm just going to... And I'm $400 off. $400 so off. A, a car. Um, I'm Not just, a good car. But I, you can buy a car. I'm sure you can buy a car for 400 bucks. So you can save a car. You could indeed. Yeah. Mike, I, you are one of the few men in my life that I actually listen to. So I... <laughs> So I just want to be clear, um, do we want to talk about this now? And the, well, actually, it might not be a bad idea because, first of all, the price is only good today. That's number one. You save the price of a car. It's $400 well, off. I didn't realize it was a, when, I, when I said let's do the proof, when I didn't realize this was a this day only. Oh, you, I mean, obviously oh, you we got didn't. We got, if we're started, let's go ahead and finish. Well, giddy I mean, up. Know, I didn't realize the big discount. Well, yeah. I mean, you know the other thing? Rick, can, can I, how, how many of these do we, how, how many of these do we have? Okay, we have 184 of them. It is also, boy, I'll tell you, talk about gilding the lily. It's $400 off. It's a this day only, which obviously, whether you're discovering HSN or not, you can probably guess that means that price is only, that $400 price reduction is for today and today only. It is on 12 month VIP financing, in which case you're looking at $74 and change. That's if you have an HSN card. And actually, we were going to end the hour with this, um, but just based on a couple of different things, most notably all the expiring stories, the, the one-of-a-kind pricing, the big <laughs> reduction, uh, the very limited quantities. Um, Mike, it's interesting because th th we've actually allocated a few minutes to this. I really do not believe that it will make the entire time that, that we've you know uh, allocated to it so uh, let, let's back up again you were talking about proof again that is a very specific method of manufacturing you also mentioned that it's your favorite set which after over four decades of presenting coins that's those are some pretty big shoes to fill so mike <laughs> Based on the, the popularity and the excitement from you and from our team and people who are already responding to this, let's do a presentation and let's sell it out, my friend. Let's get it done. How about we let's do that? Get let's get it done. Let's, let's just do it right now. And, and, and here's what it comes down to. I, I get, one of the reasons I get excited, first of all, I like proof points. Because you have to understand, Ed, not a single solitary one. So look at that entire wall, 300 and I think it's 335 coins, something like that, over 300 coins. Not a single solitary one of those coins was ever made, intended, or released into circulation. They are only available in those, <clears throat> excuse me, in those sets. And starting in 1968, it's basically the only way to get a San Francisco minted coin. That's when they started making proof sets at San Francisco. Okay, uh, the only way to get a San Francisco mini coin starting in 1968 is out of one of these sets. So, so for those of the people that collect pennies or nickels or dimes or quarters or half dollars or whatever it is, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them, if you want an S-Mint 1995 Kennedy half dollar, you have to take one of these sets, smash it open with a hammer, and get that coin out of it. So what I'm telling you, why this is also one of my favorite sets, is this is the opportunity for many of our collectors to buy like a coin dealer. And people always say, what do you mean by that? I said, because you're buying them in the bulk, in the original, in the original sets, at less than $20 a piece. At less than If you buy a 2021 on uh, United States government issue proof set with shipping and handling that's going to be released in about three weeks, two or three weeks, it's 40 bucks. Has seven coins in it, smallest proof set in 25 years. It's going to be 40 bucks. You get 50 sold out limited edition vintage sets for less than half that price. And here's the other part that I want. So it includes all of these coins, because we're going all the way back to 1960. So let's start there in 1960, all the way at the top. These are proof coins. All the way top left, those little, those little uh, 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 vanilla envelopes. And if you look at those, you have to understand, so the Kennedy half dollar, they started making that in 1964. So 60, 61, 62, 63 are Franklin half dollars. They are proof Franklin half dollars. Now, there's 331 coins in this deal. Less than $3 a coin, like $2.75 a coin to these. So I just want to give you real quick. So look at those five, those five half dollars there because those are silver. 
Those Franklin half dollars started in 1960 on a per coin basis, 6375, 7450, 5975, 5975 and the uh, uh, Kennedy 5975 nationally advertised catalog. Just those five half dollars over 300 bucks. We're 900 bucks for the whole deal just the first five half dollars. Okay? Just the first five half dollars. If you look at the quarters, the quarters, because those first five quarters, those are all silver, too. 3750, 36.95, 36.95, 36.95, 30, $31.75. How about that? So just the just the half dollar in the quarters, basically a hundred dollars a set, five hundred dollars. And then if you look at the dimes, well, the dimes also happen to be Okay, six ninety five because they're silver. Six ninety five, six ninety five, six ninety five, six ninety five. It's crazy. So when you look at the first five years, those first five Manila envelopes, you're almost six hundred dollars. You're almost six hundred dollars in the first five years. You're paying eight hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. So for two hundred ninety nine bucks, I insist. You take the other 45 years. Hey, Mike, I'm just going to interject here real quickly, and I apologize. Um, so a couple of things are happening. Whether you're new yeah. to HSN or not, this day only, you can probably guess that $400 price reduction is good now. That's number one. If you have an HSN card, you could do 12 interest-free payments. Basically, lack of a better term, 12 flex pays. That makes it $74.99. Now, I believe on the apply and buy, you have to choose whether or not you want the 12 month or the $40 off, I believe. Um, but the thing is, with the quantity left, remember that does not take into uh, consideration. Oh. Is it one of those deals, you break it, you buy it? <gasps> Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. if you open up any of these, you got to keep the coins because that's what people do. They bust them up and sell the coins individually. Well, it, and then I'll give it, I'll, I'll let the cat out of the bag. I did that. I went to a nationally advertised catalog. People say, well, who buys the coins individually? I said, most of the coins are sold individually, not in sets. And here's the reason why we're $899.95. If I go coin by coin by coin by coin, it is well, it is well in excess of $3,000. It is well in excess of $3,000. You're like 80% off the coin by coin price. And you get them in the original government packaging, which is usually extra. So as I said, the first five years, those, those silver sets, people are going, well, those are the first five years. Of course, they're $600. Shannon, if you don't mind, go to the last sets. Okay. All the way down on the bottom. Okay. Bottom right. The last sets all the way down on the bottom, the 2008 and the 2009. And what those are is those are the largest sets, proof sets, ever made by the United States government. Those are the largest proof sets ever made by the United States government. So what I want to do is I want to talk about those in terms of value. For instance... If you look at the 2009, it happens to be the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln Cent. And so those four special Lincoln Cents only come in that set. They're done in the original copper. Those are $13.50 a piece. That little lens right there that you see with the, with the little flag in it, $52. You go to the lens right next to that. And, you know, you have the presidential dollars. You have the Kennedy half dollar. I'll let the cat out of the bag again. Coin by coin, the 2009 set is $160.74 if purchased individually. The 2008 set, the set before that, because it's the rarest of the national park or of the uh, state quarters, how about $239.55? So basically $400 for the last two sets. <laughs> Excuse me. So at the end of the day, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. All right? At eight ninety nine, The first five sets and the last two sets, those seven sets, coin by coin, $1,000. Wow. I insist you take the other 43 sets. <laughs> I insist you take the other 43 sets. And keep in mind what's in those sets. Go to the red, the ones with the red backgrounds. Starting in 1973, you know what's in there? 
How about all of the Eisenhower silver dollars made by the United States government? How about all the Eisenhower silver dollars made by the United States government in proof condition, 73, 74? And then there was not a 1975 because they made it a bicentennial. There's two different bicentennials, okay? 75, 76, type 1, type 2, bicentennial. So you're going to have the bicentennial dollars in that. And then you have 77 and 78. I mean, those bicentennial dollars, they're, they're almost, they're about average $27 a piece. Remember, you pay $3 a coin. You pay $3 a coin. Now, here's what the problem is. You see, we have 12 dozen. I have exactly 12 dozen left. We started with almost 200, not quite. Because here's what, there's a lot of stuff here. I go through a lot of things. I have to explain why this set coin by coin by coin is, you know, way over $3,000. Everybody sits back and waits. I know it's a lot of information. I know it's really, really, really important. But understand what happens is, is in the last four or five or six minutes of this presentation, I know when you see that clock, the phones absolutely positively explode. Particularly, and I knew I had authorized a discount to, uh, a little bit, but I didn't realize we were doing 899. I'm trying to go back in my memory bank, and it's not quite as good as it once was, but I'm almost certain, and I've been selling this particular set for well over a decade, I'm pretty sure it's the lowest price I've ever sold this for. Oh, it has at to be. At $899.95. I can't imagine selling it for less. We're less than $20 a set. Okay. It, I mean, we're less than 20 There's You get 50 sets. Unbelievable. You get 50 sets. For eight hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents, that's like eighteen dollars a piece. I mean, you have to understand the two thousand nine eight seven six five. They they cost from the mint double that. I mean, it's less than the mint price on almost all of these. And there's that clock I warned you about. There's that clock I warned you about. Okay, do not wait. Do not hesitate. So you get all of the. Eisenhower dollars. Well, how about you want all the Susan B. Anthony dollars in proof? They're there as well. Okay, starting in, as you can see right there, 79, 80, and 81. They're all going to be in there. How about the Sacagawea Golden Dollar? You interested in Sacagawea Golden Dollars? Oh, well, I am. And those Sacagawea Golden Dollars, coin by coin by coin? How about, what are we looking at here? Uh, 10 bucks, 14 bucks, 20 bucks. Uh, four, they average $15 a coin for the Sacagawea Golden Dollars. How about the Presidential Dollars? You're going to get 12 presidential golden dollars. They average about $8 a piece. All right? The Kennedy, and here's the deal. So I put it all together. The Kennedy half dollars alone, the Kennedy half dollars alone, over $1,000. <clears> so if you're a Kennedy half dollar collector, okay, let's say you're a Kennedy half dollar collector, and you want the San Francisco minted Kennedy half dollars, which start in 1968. So at the end of the day, you want the first 42 years of the Kennedy half dollar in San Francisco. You know what you have to do? You have to either break these sets open yourself, or you have to find somebody who's willing to do it. Or you have to find somebody who is willing to do it. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I am selling you on a coin-like coin basis all of the sets, all of the coins, for less than what a nationally advertised catalog sells you just the Kennedy half dollars out of these sets. And by the way, then you add the Franklin half dollars in that. That's another 200 bucks. So the half dollars are like $1,300. The quarters are $800. You have a complete set of proof state quarters in there. The quarters are 800 bucks. The dollar coins are 450 I mean, the pennies are 400 bucks. Coin by coin by coin by coin. Please understand what your opportunity is. I have... I, I can rarely bring these to the table because here's the other thing. So think about what I've been saying. And I know we might have to give you an extra minute or two here as we're just – these are just flying out. We may sell – I think we're likely to sell all 180, 180 pieces. So think what I've been saying. So if you're collecting Kennedy half dollars and you want to collect the estimate Kennedy half dollars, you have to break open these sets. So how do you think these sets survive? How do you think these sets survive? Well, the answer to that is, is they really don't. Literally, 
These sets are broken open every single solitary day. They literally, literally get rarer every single solitary day. In my business, okay, we have a team that is quite literally dedicated to do one thing. Smash these sets open so that we can sell S-minute pennies. We can sell S-minute Kennedy half dollars. We can fill those things. When the state quarters were out there, the proof state quarters, the only way to get them is in these sets. I sold thousands, tens of thousands of sets of just the state quarters in Red Oak Presentation Box for $449.95. For and the only way to get them is these. They literally get rarer every single solitary day. There is absolutely, positively no doubt about it. Hey, and that's what you need to do. I think we're going to try to count I, these down. We, we started are. with 185 sets. Isn't that what you said? I, I 185 did. sets. Mike, I think I'm, we're probably absolutely inundated in the phone room as we have six dozen, six dozen of these sets left at the special this day only pricing. Okay, I, I apologize, Mike. I have to interject because, and this is not to panic anybody, but unless you are choosing to make your buying decision now, you will not get this. Um, we will let you know it's, when it's completely gone, but there are a couple of things. If you, because listen, I listen to Mike just like you listen to Mike. So it's not just the fact that the quarters pay for the purchase. It's not just the fact that the, the, the Kennedys pay for the purchase. It's not just the fact Eisenhower's pay for the purchase. When we say you're buying coins like a coin collector, we're not kidding. But then before I flummox the entire thing, the packaging has to survive. Now listen, I'm, I'm not made out of paper, but I'm not holding up as well as the packaging in, in this. Well, look at that blue, that blue package right there. Hey. And if you want to grab that top left blue package, Okay, this one? That's cardboard. Yeah. That's the exterior package. Yep. That's from 1968. Yeah. Okay, you have to understand, part of what happens with this is in the ones we break open, we buy 10,000 sets. We buy 15,000 sets. 60% of them are not usable in this configuration because, you know, the coins are tarnished, okay? There's problems with the coins. The pennies are tarnished. The cases are cracked. The, uh, uh, the, the, the boxes on them are just, you know, are worn out. So we have to individually hand-select every single solitary one of these sets. We, we, we do. We have to individually hand-select every single solitary one of these sets. And by the time we do this, that's why this... Oh, I just noticed we have these, so these are sold out. <laughs> as you, as you I know, Mike, I'm like... <laughs> Listen, I know you got a lot to say, but uh, I should, speaking of things I have to say, please do not hang up. We uh, we did take your phone call, or if you're placing on HSN, your order on hsn.com, my producer did take your method or manner in of mode of ordering into consideration. So do do not hang up, do not, you know, log off. We, we took that into consideration. Okay, uh, we've got about five minutes remaining. By the way, I will have your final presentation of our Ring Today's special coming up in just a few moments with Lori Leland. So if you have that, of course, I'd love to say hi to you. Um, Mike, I tell you what, if you don't have Ring, maybe you should. <laughs> don't do it, you know, do. listen. I mean, uh, honest to goodness, because I can only imagine the, the security that you would have to have around the litany of coins uh, that you have at your... Oh, I got nothing in my house. <laughs> okay? I, I keep my minor, uh, uh, you know, my coins, I, don't, I keep some coins at the house, but nothing real valuable. There's no reason for that. Well, yeah, well you, should, you should do our ring today special then. I do. Uh, I, I already have ring. Oh, you, oh, you do? From, I bought it from HSN. I buy everything from HSN. I just bought a TV. <laughs> I'm, I'm that, HSN's best customer. See, you know, that is one of the reasons we love you. All right, Mike, uh, best for last. This is going to be a real abbreviated presentation, so I'm going to defer right to you. Well, and this was the one I was going to get to in front of the 50 years, but once we got going, I mean, you know, let's, let's go ahead and sell those out. So we talked about the Silver Eagles. So as a matter of fact, it seems like we only talked about Silver Eagles. With a, with a, with a brief proof set interim, okay, the Mint State coins, I, I just, I, I just prattling endlessly about how rare they are. But it pales into comparison to the proof set, to the proof coin. The United States government did not release, did not release 
the proof Silver Eagle for 2021 on time. They did not release the proof Silver Eagle in, on January the 4th as they were supposed to. It was delayed five weeks until February the 11th because there is such an incredible shortage of mint state American Silver Eagles. And by law, the United States government must actually produce mint state Silver Eagles until that demand is fulfilled before they do proof Silver Eagles. Technically, they're supposed to do that. That's why in 2009, because of the huge demand of Silver Eagles, there were no proof Silver Eagles in 2009. The mint could never get around to making them. Well, they got around to making a few of these, about 300,000 points of the West Point Mint annual issue Silver Eagles. They finally released them for sale on February the 11th, and they sold out every available coin that they had at the time, sold out in six minutes. And at 300,000 coins, it also turns out to be the rarest silver eagle, the rarest uh, proof annual issue American proof silver eagle ever made by the United States government from 1986 till now. So now you have a coin that's only going to be made for six weeks or six months and six months only because they have to make the type twos. Probably the most, one of the single most important coins produced by the United States government, the last of the classic design, American Proof Silver Eagles, the very last one to ever be done by the United States government, made for six months and six months only. You've got it completely and totally sold out, and it's the rarest annual issue Proof Silver Eagle ever made by the United States government. We have first day of issue, which is, of course, 100 percent exclusive for us. We've got our little American flag core, uh, specialized exclusive core right there. Only 4,300 coins, and it's $339.95 for right now. <laughs> okay. In all honesty, if I priced them according to the marketplace, I'd probably be $399. I would probably be $399. But... I bought them out of the original batch before the prices doubled or tripled in the marketplace, and they didn't grade great. I'd hope they were going to grade better. So 4,300 coins, given the fact that there's only 300,000 coins, is a bunch. We went out there aggressively spending seven figures for proof Silver Eagles out there in the marketplace. Because we got, we're one of the 18 pre-release dealers. Well, we sold those as pre-releases. I had to go buy all of these coins on the secondary market. In essence, I got them early. I got them what I believe to be super cheap. Okay, I'd have to pay probably double that now. I'd at least be 399 maybe 429 if I bought in the marketplace today. So you have the proof silver. You that sold out coin that everybody's desiring. You've got first day of issue, each coin individually numbered. Uh, and like I said, the American flag core, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. This is my initial debut, my initial debut of this coin right here. And like I said, every single solitary one of them will guarantee sell out. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at it. It's my first full presentation of this, and if that's right, I'm looking at my notes. I think we've already sold 800 coins before I've ever presented it. How about that for people shopping for coins on hsn.com? Well, and Mike, you know, that's just what happens. So uh, I, I have to say it's been a, a wildly popular coin collecting show as always. Mike, thank you for doing this for us tonight. Always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Mike. Hey, don't hang up. Of course, you're always welcome. Well, with whatever hasn't sold out to go to hsn.com to refresh some of those details that Mike was filling you in on. Well, if it's good enough for Mike Mizak, I'll have what he's having. Have you got ring? Well, if you don't, you need to. Not only do we have America's number one name when it comes to smart home entry and safety and security and peace of mind in America, best Price, biggest package, more features than anywhere else. Last show coming up next. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. It makes the prep easy and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet.
Home Paris on HSN. At HSN, we love our crafters. So we're bringing you top-rated picks crafters love. I'm telling you this because your stuff is actually amazing. It was so easy to use. Plus, experts will share their top tips. We're going to make something really cute, really fun. We've got everything you need here for a full year of craft. Buckle up, buttercup. Join us on our next crafting event on HSN. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Well, happy Saturday. Welcome into HSN. I'm Shannon, and this is where we're rounding out our discovery days here at HSN. It is also your final opportunity to get on, get what we call our finest value.